Welcome back to Jason Bowman Loves Cars. I'm Jason Bowman, and I love cars. Today I'm going to tell you my story of the 350Z. The 350Z had been a blip on my radar until recently. My friend Colin had an enthusiast edition which piqued my interest. I am from the old school where speed and suffering went hand in hand. The enthusiast appealed to me because it was like fast cars from the past. Completely stripped out for speed and performance. Fast forward to 2022 and the 350Z has become quite the bargain. Alright, for a second look, I think I'm getting too old and fat for stripper models, but I could go for a fully optioned out loaded one. The Nissan 350Z was a two-seater, two-door sports car manufactured from 2002 until 2009. Nissan 350Z was the fifth generation of the Z car line. <laughs> For the first year of production, there was only a coupe. The Roadster premiered the following year. History. The last year for the Nissan 300ZX in the U.S. market was 1996. Nissan kept the Z name relevant with the 240Z concept in 1997. In their free time, Nissan's North American design team penned the concept 240Z. The Concept 240Z did a media tour across four states in July of 1998. It was fussed over by various media outlets, dealers, and employees. The father of the Z unveiled the 240Z Concept drawings to the public during an award ceremony. Hi, I'm Jackie McLaren. Please remember to like and subscribe and comment to Jason Bowman Loves Cars. The design was intended to represent a modern version of the 240Z. However, the original 240Z designer was not impressed comparing it to the Bluebird and the Leopard. In my opinion, it's full of shit. The only similarities the 240Z concept, the Leopard, and the Bluebird had were they were all automobiles. What do you guys think? Respond in the comments whether you think I'm full of shit or was. The 240Z concept was unveiled at the Detroit Motor Show. Nissan didn't like the first design. They felt the 200 horsepower 2.4 liter KA24DE made the car feel underpowered. The general consensus at Nissan was the 240Z concept was too retro and looked too much like a modernized Datsun 240Z. Hey, wait, wasn't that the point? Nonetheless, a redesign was commissioned. President announced during a press conference in February 2000 that they would produce the new Z. Felt the new model would help the company's financial recovery. The new Z concept was unveiled at the Detroit Motor Show. This round, the Z had a new front-end design and similar body shape to the original Nissan 240Z concept. The design was tweaked slightly to shoehorn the assigned 3.5-liter VQ35DE engine in. The 350Z name was born. Design. Production 350Zs were front-engine and rear-wheel drive, two-seat, two-door sports cars just like the concept. The final design was penned in 2000 by... From the San Diego, California Design Department. The 350Z had the familiar Z car proportions with a long hood and short deck design. Design highlights included a fastback style roof, brushed aluminum door handles, and Coke bottle sides with bulged fenders. The interior design featured brushed aluminum accents. The main gauge cluster was steering column mounted, which allowed it to move in conjunction with the column. Additional gauges are mounted in the center, reminiscent to Zs of the past. Touring models came with Bose sound system with a 6 CD changer and 8 inch subwoofer. The 350Zs did not have a conventional glove box, but it had storage compartments behind and between the seats. The 350Z was released on August 20th, 2002 in the US. The 350Z Coupe was available in five different flavors. 350Z Base, Enthusiast, Performance, Touring, and Track Editions. The base model did not include traction control or the fancy viscous coupler limited slip differential. The base model was only available with cloth seats. Speaking of roughing it, there was no power seats, no heated seats, and no cruise control. The enthusiast models came standard with the fancy viscous limited slip differential, traction control, and cruise control. The performance model came with a rear spoiler, larger 18-inch wheels, optional Pornstar Brembo brakes, and vehicle dynamic control which was Nissan speak for stability control. The Touring was the all singing, all dancing luxury model. It had Xenon headlamps, power leather heated seats, optional porn star Brembo brakes, vehicle dynamic control, and viscous limited slip differential. Optional GPS navigation and big pimpin' 18 inch wheels.
The track model included a front air dam, rear spoiler, traction control, viscous limited slip differential, big pimp and 18-inch wheels, standard porn star Brembo brakes, cloth seats, and optional GPS navigation. The 350Z Roadster was introduced in 2004. It had an electrical retractable soft top roof. In the US, the 350Z Roadster was available in two trim packages. Touring and Enthusiast. Grand Touring GT trim was added to the Roadster trim packages for 2005. For 2006, the 350Z received a mid-cycle facelift. New for 2006 updates included a revised front fascia, projector headlights, LED taillights, interior trim changes, and speed-sensitive steering. Touring and Grand Touring models received radio steering controls, MP3 CD compatibility, and satellite radio became optional. A brake upgrade that included larger brake booster, front dual piston calipers, and larger diameter brake discs became standard on trim levels above the basic and enthusiast. The rev up VQ 35DE, 300 horsepower, 260 foot pounds of torque engine that was exclusive to the mid year 2005 or 35th anniversary edition and track editions with a six speed manual transmission became available on every trim level that had a manual transmission. The VQ 35DE, rated at 287 horsepower and 274 foot pounds of torque, continued to be offered for the automatic transmission Zeds. For the 2007, the VQ 35DE was replaced with the new VQ 35 HRV6. The VQ 35 HR made 306 horsepower at 6800 RPM with 268 foot pounds of torque at 4800 RPM. The VQ HR's red line was raised to 7500 RPM. VQ35HRs had raised deck height that required a hood bulge for clearance. The hood bulge was reminiscent of the one on a Datsun 240Z. The Z also got blue teeth for 07. In the US, the number of trim levels got whittled down to 350Z Base, Enthusiast, Touring, Grand Touring, and Nisbo. Stock Performance 0 to 60 times had a good spread on 350Z 0 to 60 times and quarter mile times. Aftermarket performance, air intake, cap back, supercharger kit, lumpier cams, handling goodies, lowering springs, coilovers, thicker sway bars, tubular control arms, racing. Three hundred and fifty Z took that vet to Gapplebee's. Three hundred and fifty Zs are often autocrossed. Many three hundred and fifty Zs get rallied. That makes a great drifter. and let it stretch its legs. Wait, what was that? Holy crap, another jackalope sighting. Buying a 350Z. The 350Zs are pretty bulletproof, but there are a few things to look out for. Oil consumption is a common issue. Make sure to check the oil level, especially if you're looking at a rev-up model. Damage can occur if the oil level gets too low. 
healthy engine should have at least 14 PSI of oil pressure at idle. 350Zs are well known for wearing out suspension bushings, particularly in the front lower control arms. The bushings are inexpensive, thankfully. A good upgrade would be to replace the rubber bushings with polyurethane bushings when the time comes. Nissan did an excellent job with rust-proofing the 350Z, but the tin worm still enjoys chewing on them at the bottom of the doors and around the wheel lips. At the moment, the 350Zs are a bargain. The car gurus had a good overview on pricing. Historically, Zs are collectible, and I believe they'll go up in value. Get yours soon before they start going for Datsun 240Z money. Thanks for watching Jason Bowman Loves Cars and my story of the 350Z. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Hello, I am Jackie McLaren. I interrupt this YouTube show for an important service announcement. Jack loves only kill, on average, 15 humans per year. That is only slightly more than sharks. Therefore, there is no reason to be terrified of us. Thank you for your understanding. Now back to your regularly scheduled program.